The Conceited Nobody. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m. What's up, what's up, we back with another edition of the best podcast you never heard of, The Conceited Nobody. Yow. This is this is episode 136. Um, she I almost forgot how to fucking start this shit. You already know I am. It's been so many motherfucking hiatus in there. You already know this is with Tours, a.k.a. the low-key legend, uh, The Blueprint. We up in here, we about to have a fantastic show like always. Always out here on the floor. Uh, they trying to stop us. We do the mic checks as we go. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to stop us. They trying to stop. You already, you already know how the squad is. We over here. Listen, this is how. If you watch the video, you are gonna see this. But you gonna see this is how we do. We have no engineers, no help. We fix microphones. By ourselves, man. We doing every fucking thing, man. Still, but, <clears throat> fuck it. We are still, it. Still <laughs> as, as, like as we as we talking. As we talking, I'm over here. But but it's it's a fantastic day. Pause. Pause. What I, <laughs> what did I do? What did nah, I do? he said messing with the knobs. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, knobs can be construed as no nah, man. No. Nah. Okay. If he would have said we slow it on the knobs, then it would have been devastating. If it can be dis- if it can be misconstrued in any type of way, it need to be a pause, right? Really. I was just make sure you wouldn't pause with me, so have at it. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> have at it. But no, we're going to, if you want to, you can use one of them. All right, this one already. Yeah, this one. But we about to have a fantastic show this July the 14th. I don't know what the significance of July the 14th is, but to my right, we got the man with the master plan, Renaissance motherfucking Junior in the building. Yes, sir. To his right, we got the other man with the other master plan. <laughs> he got the rest of the plan. <laughs> I just got the other thirty percent. Chicago Jason. Yes, Chicago Jason is definitely in the house. Yes, sir. hi guys. We over here looking kind of official. We got Shut up, Jason. <laughs> yeah, we are. We getting there, man. The hey, microphone. the shit's coming together, man. You know, shit been happening. I feel like some shit trying to stop us, man. But look, man, we can't be fucking stopped. Listen, we can't be fucking stopped, man. Consistency is gonna continue. Y'all gonna get more a motherfucking the conceited nobody. Cause I know y'all miss it, man. You heard it first from Diddy. You know we ain't, this shit ain't never gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop, man. Can't stop, won't stop. Take that. <laughs> Take that. Um, we we definitely been losing momentum though. It's it's fortunate that it's quarantine so far. A lot of people ain't moving. I think we done fucking fell in blend with the pack, but you know what? It's just a it's just a schedule and a skedaddle and we right back up front. See what I'm saying? But we up in here thugging, man. It's been a lot of interesting things. I hate that and shout out to Corey, DQ Fresh. She used to always say this to me. That after a show, or when we should do a show, it seemed like he said the news used to always happen. Like the good shit used to have oh, as soon yeah. as the show was over. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and it yeah. made me want to run back and just start saying shit on the mic and shit. Turn the video back on. By the, time, <laughs> by the time you get back to it, you can't even talk about the shit. Yeah. And, and just, just for a point of reference of what I'm talking about, um, I titled this show, The Casino Nobody, 136, Willard's Ho Woes. Willard's Ho Woes. Willard's Ho Woes. <laughs> I could not use what what everybody know about the Will and Jada debacle. Yeah, um, that's like the it's like the number one trending topic. I think it is definitely being quote. Uh, I'm sorry, it's beating COVID and it's beating uh, Black, Black Lives, Lives Matter, Matter. Come by on, a country man. mouth. Come on, man! And he single handedly derailed the revolution with this bullshit. Single handedly, my boy. <laughs> the single whole fuck, fake man. revolution is over with. Just single to go and show how brittle. <laughs> This re- this revolution was uh-huh. it was destroyed by big um, what's his son name uh-huh. big Jane and exactly. infidelity. <laughs> but what I was gonna talk about was how you gotta be like right on it, or you gotta put your own spin on it. Pause. Uh, I pause myself. Uh, everybody is overusing the term entanglement. Oh my god! You, uh, yeah, it was funny when she said it. But they should just let her have it. They, they <laughs> you know what I mean? Will, it was funny because Will her called her. on it, like because she kept saying that. Yeah, shit. She so said, let it have been. He let it slide the first time. 
Yeah. He, let, he let it slide the first time, and then she brought it back, and then he corrected. That's why I'm like, it should be left where it is, because he's like, look, nigga, you say an entanglement's a lot. Just say what the fuck it is. <laughs> That's as liberal as she was, and as su supposedly back. forthcoming as she was, she couldn't bring it in the heart and say, I was fucking this shit. Yeah. Right. That's see, why he see, put that on her ass. He was like, all right, so let's bring this Say back. the shit. What happened? <laughs> he said, what happened? First off, yeah, you could, we all watch this, right? Yeah, yeah, we watched it, yeah. And of course, I'm... I'm a real nigga, so I had to see the, the, the replay. I, I, I definitely didn't watch it live. I watched the replay. Yeah, you know what I mean? Where was it live? Replay. Oh, oh you know, you know, I, I, caught, I, caught, I caught it after everybody started tripping. I'm gonna get them fucking As crazy. real nigga should. As yeah. real nigga should, you it's don't catch television. You, you don't catch your gossip and shit. You gotta catch your gossip with somebody gossiping about the gossip. You feel me? Real nigga don't hear first hand gossip. Come on. Not hear third. Some shit like that. You gotta see the I need to let the whole shit unfold and then stream all the information. Like it's Netflix, nigga. I it's, need all at once. Listen, man, because I'm gonna tell you, you real nigga. You handle you your business like a real nigga. <laughs> but we all know about. First off, Miss Alcina, if I can, <laughs> if I respectfully. First off, he should be ashamed of himself. Uh, he should be ashamed. I don't know if it was part of that, primarily because of the album rollout, why he was doing what he do. Primarily. But under no circumstances should he taking this route. He um he he laid everything out on the table. And he's clearly having mental health issues. And I attribute that mostly to his hair. No sane niggas coming outside like that. For sure. And Robert Clowney Jr. looking at him. Man, he, he going through. <laughs> he going through. You can see all in his face. Definitely. Definitely. See all in his face. Um, I don't know if it's a ruse. I don't know if it's something that's planned, orchestrated. We know that the world's orchestrated. Um, the only thing I would say that Will's face said that it's sincere. But that's how he looked in all his movies when he grew up. He looked the same way when that dog died on uh, I'm mm -hmm. Legend. The yeah. same fuck or how him and Jaden was out there when he was doing happiness wrong. Yeah. Uh, what, what else have we seen Will like this? Uh, Fresh Prince. That nigga was definitely Prince. looking like, why she don't love me no more? Yeah, definitely. Why he don't love me no more? Why he don't love me? <laughs> uh, and he's been the butt of every fucking joke. And I'm gonna say that Will Smith uh, has some of the thickest skin. That I've ever seen. Because yeah. uh, he, first off, let's just, Jada obviously seen the marketing aspect of this whole thing. When August Alcina came out, said that he was knocking her down. First thing she said, I got to bring myself to the table. Her own talk show. And people was waiting on it. When I first heard it, I said, hmm, I wonder what she's going to say, but I didn't wait on it. I actually forgot till it actually happened. That's how you control so the spam, though. Yeah, She's yeah, like, put this shit on. Nick, Will, you interview me. I'm not out talking to nobody outside of this shit. No Gail Kings. Because I know that shit, <laughs> too. Like, when they first, when August I seen him first, he was on, I don't know what's wrong with Cubs. Like, I ain't, Man. I don't know what's wrong with Cubs. He messed with unstable, I yeah, thought. Yeah, he going through some shit, too. You know. But, uh. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> I was, you know, I was just waiting on her. Like you said, I was like, damn, what the fuck? When did he, we heard what they gonna say? But then, like you said, nigga, forget about that shit. You do the other shit. You That's know a real nigga shit. I, I can't yeah, stress that enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what the fuck do they think about that shit, man? But you, but you, you, you. Oh, I'm over Until it catch fire. You feel me? And everybody like, entangled. Yeah. yeah. I hate when shit they overuse. Now they making fucking song remixes out song. of this shit. Yeah, the they make song. No, it's all over Instagram today. Like, it took a week for the songs to start rolling out. It's on YouTube, all the YouTube remixes and entanglement, entanglement. Like, oh, yeah, like the songs, yeah, yeah they the definitely, fucking, they definitely the make the club remix techno shit. mixes of entanglement. Yeah, you know how they make videos, take videos and read, yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out to my homie Bohemian Harlem. He was the first, he was, that nigga had a shirt up in like six seconds. He made shirts and shit. Oh, yeah, really? that's he hard. He had a shirt up in six seconds. That's uh, hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was fast. I won't say hard, cause I can't see nobody walk around with a shirt that's in entanglement. <laughs> I don't know. We live in a trendy ass society, though, so it's, it's kind of twofold. Uh, <laughs> but you say that he took it. You say he had will. You say you commend will. Well, no, I say that. Did I say that? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to double back to what you no. said because you made me want to say that. Uh, like, I yeah, that nigga I, did I frown up on Willard. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, yeah, I'm like, that nigga did, took it in stride a little bit because of the fact that, did y'all hear about, um, and this shit's funny to me, that 
Now they trying to say he was fucking with Margot Roby from Suicide Squad back back around that time. So that's Ooh, probably that's why he was like, fight, uh, Harley Quinn. He can, he can cheat better than that. Man, so they that they try to they it really looked like it was like we good, we all even. I wasn't fucking with you. Like he made that very clear in the interview. So it was just like I was doing me, you was doing you. So what up? What did it you do? Very, it was very reactive. He put that it shit was on very her. Very reactive. He, he, uh, he tried his best to put it on her. He, he was very hurt. He was <laughs> yeah. very hurt. It came hurt. across. <laughs> uh, but just first off, I'm, uh, she got on there. She said, "Of course, she was diffusing or deflecting accountability in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. She was. She was." Re and it was partially him because he, he made it like, yeah, I was done with your ass. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like, nigga, no matter how fucking tough you say, I was done with your ass. Yes, yeah, nigga, yeah, you yeah. was hurt. You was hurt. Like, listen, I'm going to tell you. So you yeah. just go with him now? Like, it, like dude was just over our house the other day hanging out. Now yeah, that's the thing. They got here to talk about. They call him Og. He even call him Og. But I don't believe him. I don't. You nigga, you nigga, you, 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 you nigga, your girlfriend's boyfriend. <laughs> when Og, oh, man. when Og came into our family's life, I'm like, damn. This but that's crazy. what. But that's this another funny point. point. You, he, he didn't just nickname his girlfriend boyfriend. He nicknamed they boo. Hold on. That's what the fuck that was. Oh, Nigga. I'm not going there. Ah. For the simple fact it is, for the simple fact it is, if all I see really want to sell records, he would have went there too. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. He would. Hey, if he really want now, if he just wanted some attention, this is what you do. But if you want the the alphabet people, that, I ain't going for that. Ain't, I don't think he gonna put himself in that position, nigga. I would. I fuck your wife. We fuck you. That's how we're going to But that ain't going to benefit him, but it look good. Man, he ain't do that. He was smacking. Pause, hold on. First off, don't nobody chop that part up. What? Don't nobody chop that Eddie B said that silly what? shit. I refuse to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to repeat it. But look, look, look. It's a super duper pause. <laughs> but no, even first off, it, 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 it's rumors of Will Smith being a homosexual. Definitely, I will, I will never confirm or deny those allegations. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm gonna remove myself I, from I don't this. know. Hey, you got nobody knows because I'm, I'm a person. I know a lot of stories. I don't like to call people fags and shit if I don't know if they don't think. Yeah, that, that, no, I feel you. That's a hell of an indictment, right there. Yeah. I'm fuck with the first well, one. They say, you know, I, uh, I'm gonna I ain't you, gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. Just, just <laughs> even though I'm the one who went there. Just, exactly. This is on behalf of Jason. They say him and Dwayne Martin, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all you all saying. I'm in Indiana. I don't know shit. I don't know what the fuck I read on the internet. We just press buttons on the app and we have fun. Shout out, <laughs> shout, shout out to the classic. <laughs> shout out to the classic of Butterim. One time for Butterim. <laughs> <laughs> but look though, look though. So they on the show or whatever. She's saying what she did. Uh, you see nothing but pain in Will's eyes. Pain. Um. I don't know if I could. I, I know for a fact I could have gone here and did this shit. Um, it, I haven't seen anybody so a couple like this so weird looking since Kobe and Vanessa. Yeah. Will was Vanessa last week. He was Vanessa Bryant. After Talking about in a situation like this. Yeah, I mean, just to sitting right there, like he stood by his man. He said that too. He did say that he, he did like in the press conference. He did, yeah, he, he did. He very aware of what's going he on. He did, yeah. Um, he a nigga from Philly. Well, you know, he has to say Pittsburgh now. He's a nigga from Pittsburgh now. <laughs> he didn't do no Philly shit. Yeah, Joe yeah. Frazier turned he's over in his grave. Rocky Balboa is turned over in his grave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Biddy Briscoe, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he definitely, first off, let me see. When, when she said entanglement, like she started using verbs and words and shit to just throw them off of all. It was just we, we was in entanglement. Listen, I've heard the word entanglement before. I tell people I read all the time, listen to audio books even more these days. Mm. So my vocabulary is ever expounding and it's ever expanding. I've never heard entanglement in that context. Yeah. And it's like like you can't even say you've been on fucking it's like I've been out getting entangled. See Women create, women reach and grab and for uh, odd ass words to explain an uncomfortable situation, yeah. like situationships and shit like that. Like, yeah. nigga, say you was fucking. Yeah. 
Say y'all was y'all yeah, fucking yeah, around. Say what it is. Yeah, they cannot know. let it roll yeah, off their lips for you to perceive them in any per- possible way, even for half a second that they was potentially hoes ever in their lifetime, bro. They had a good time. I was well it's a, it's very deflective. It's very, very deflective. Um, it's okay. What's okay? She could do what the fuck she want to do. That's all I'm saying. Say what the fuck it was. You grown. And then, then and you this go back to my. You see some women post about uh, when we was talking about uh, when we will see he he and she he got him back or he said he gonna get her back and he said the tip for tap thing whatever man I ain't gonna tell me seeing like long ass posts from a couple yeah. different women about that shit. Unfortunately, I have it. And I, but I imagine, like, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And so I, I saw somebody say, because um, it was a meme where Jada said something like, they said Jada's using the verbiage of um, healing and all that shit and as a way to masquerade what she done. Yeah. And I've seen somebody say, man, been done it for years. And I've never seen a nigga do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's, but 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 they both. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. You said healing. I'm like they both said they was like uh, they was like when Aug came into our lives, he was sick, and I'm like, what the fuck is y'all doing to nurture this nigga back to health? Like why you? I heard, There's a lot of sick I, niggas in the world. I heard that they 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 be like that's all. They be reaching out to motherfuckers and helping motherfuckers. So I don't. That is weird though. Like I don't know if it in his particular what? situation they what? just was like it came across and they like let's help him. But um, I don't know what it's talking about. There's a lot of niggas that can rap or say better than him I, I, that I it was in need. I want to say I thought I played <laughs> where they help some other motherfuckers, but Probably. at the same time, it's still like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I, I, mean? I, I, I hell, like, for That's what I'm saying. Listen, what listen, what can listen. they do to the doctor? First of all, they, they, they make him look like a bad motherfucker. Talking about he was sick. He was very sick. So I'll say it, it's like he went to rule, like rule 78, 34. Act like you don't get the pussy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a handbook yeah. for niggas to do a bunch of shit to get to where you cry your way in the pussy, you yeah. laugh your way in the pussy, you snitch your way in some pussy, you lie, whatever. Yeah. He mentally helped his way in some pussy. <laughs> so, for one, Will Smith, it's weird. I mean, I'm sure it's more gory details than we've been privy to, but I don't understand a nigga let another nigga hang with you and your fucking family. This nigga uh, came in the house like Mary Poppins. That's why I'm saying. Yeah, they were like, cleaning and shit, giving nigga a teaspoon of sugar, help the manage to go down and all that shit. I'm like, he's sick, but he Mary Poppins. Like, what are we doing? But it's Will's fault. Ultimately, it's Will's fault. He was about to True. cry. Uh, she, like, it's so much shit down. Will, like, this nigga, only, he want, this is how he wants the calendar to go. May, June, July, September. <laughs> he don't want to hear <laughs> shit yeah, yeah, about yeah, August yeah. ever again. <laughs> that's, Man, listen, you ever been cheated on? And and, and she like, yeah, we was by a red house. And you can like, hey, red house, I see you. It's always a fucking reminder. That's red any house. trauma. That's any, any trauma. Any trauma. Any trauma. So now August. <laughs> August is what? It, August is 31 August. days. Thanks to Augustus Caesar. It's 31 days. Quick, mm-hmm. quick history fact. Julius Caesar. That's what July was named after. He had 31 days. Augustus, who August is named after, said, I want 31 days too. That's why it's 31 days in both those months. Fuck them for what they did to Will. He got 31 days to deal with instead of 30 now. It ain't even just that. It's the glasses. It's that hair color, that hairstyle, nigga, that outfit. If I see anything that reminds yeah, me of this shit. Fuck you, know, you know how painful it is for you to be one of the most <laughs> bankable stars in Hollywood history? A successful rapper. Listen, successful rapper, TV show actor, and a bona fide movie star. Bona fide. And you know, you know, bitch fucking nigga in August. I'll see you. A weak ass. Never mind. Like, like, what? <laughs> do you know three off your songs? I'm not so a fan of that. Do you know, that type do you know of they doing your songs? No. Do you know a single song? No. Do you? Yeah. What? Because I'm sure that's one I know. I love it. I love this shit. I don't know how I love it. Is that how that shit goes? Every song I think that's his was Trey Songs. <laughs> well, he was popping for a minute, man. He was popping for a minute. Like I, I have to pull up on Wikipedia to see what exactly was his song. Nigga uh, popping more than me, man. So I can't hate that hard. <laughs> what you say? I said a nigga was popping more than me, so I can't hate that hard at all. Oh, I'm, I'm listen. I hate, I hate based on fucking location. In Indianapolis <laughs> podcast saying I'm the greatest. In the world scope, I'm like fucking 700,000. But in my particular area, 
I dominate this region. So balls. we compare ball, we compare ants to ants, birds to birds. Yeah. Alcina is not us. On, we man. compare him to this nigga like Jacquees Jr. Damn near. He on some shit like that. So yeah. I will not reduce myself to a hater for having an opinion. Uh, nah, I don't say a hater, man. I'm just like, yeah, man. Shit, man. He, he had that testimony shit 2014. Uh, his singles was I love this shit. Yeah. And no, I, I mean he was popping and he actually could sing. And more importantly, he got something that the greatest rapper ever did. A piece of Jada Pinkett shout out to you, Uh just, just to transition a little bit to a troll <laughs> who definitely trolled Will Smith, who's been trolling. Did he? Definitely. He is hilarious. Definitely. This nigga man is the funniest. Fifty said he is like that nigga man. He said he wait for shit to happen. He happened. Yeah. It's like he's activated. He uh, <laughs> did some kind of fake message between him and Will. Did y'all see that yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made, he made a little fake message, <laughs> but <laughs> 50 Cent, he, he, he's into a little controversy. Well, it was. I, don't, I think it died down with him and T.I. Everybody knows that since the uh, supposed quarantine, which I don't even know if it still is one, it's a semi quarantine. They kind of made it more going back on lockdown. I don't even know what's going on. Last very confused. Very, very confused talking about laws. They ran out of pennies. I don't know what the fuck to say. There they don't want pennies, pennies in the world. No it ain't no chains. You ain't seen no story of like use exact chain and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. You have to coin shortage. Yeah. Use exact change? So coin shortage. I don't know how. I have no idea. Like no yeah. circulation. You know, really. you know my mom say uh, in the Walmart over there they don't take cash at all. And that's what a lot they of people were doing. Were doing. That that's, that's what uh, Walmart. I've seen a couple stores. Cause they 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 mm-hmm. faking like it ain't no fucking dimes and nickels and shit on the streets. <laughs> uh, they ain't never looked down. Definitely. God know how to pull with these. Some, in my life, I'm sure I threw that on a million dollars of pennies. I'm pretty sure you did. If I just said every fucking penny I had, nigga, I think I'd be a million. Every dime, quarter, <laughs> all that shit. I'm so fucking racist. I pretty keep sure silver. Almost had a quarter. I went through away the niggers. <laughs> I went through away the nigger coins. Uh, but but, fifty cent and. They got the versus thing going on. Um, the, it, it's been some, what, what's been the best verses so far? Probably the most popular was the Teddy Riley versus Babyface for his lack of. I like, the, I like the Jada Kiss and Fab. I have I, I get to check that out. I had to check the, check that in. I definitely yeah. wanted to. Uh, I think Fab Jada Kiss is a way better rapper than Fab is. For sure. But I didn't get to check that out, but yeah, that's why they came together. Right. Yeah, Freddie versus Jay. They did a whole mixtape. Yeah. They didn't um, go back and stand that. I didn't fuck with it. Really? You didn't like it? I didn't fuck with it. Cause I don't fuck with Fabulous. Mm-hmm. But I, I like, I like, uh, Fabulous corny to me. But I did, yeah, well, we all subject. I listen with, like, I'll be passing some shit. I went back and listened to old Jay that Ignite. So that shit is hard in the bitch. Ooh. That shit's cool. Oh, it's, uh, it's all called Ignite. Named after his former manager who. Recently passed away. Oh, yeah. But what was you about to say? Uh, I don't. It's okay. I forgot. They got okay. a new single that's hard. Cool. Jada Kiss? No, I ain't even heard what it's called. Uh, is it me? No, that shit old. Hey. It's, on, it's on that uh, that same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it was like, <laughs> it was like a few, oh, that was called. Yeah, damn. So just like you did. Yeah, yeah. So just like that's one of the funniest. Was that was it, like, was it like a few years ago, or was it like real old? Uh, no, it was probably last year. Okay. About okay. a year, year and a half at the most, I believe. My favorite Jada track, and that's not even one of his hardest tracks. We gone. Man, that beat yeah. is great. We, we go, go man. Yeah, it is one of the hardest. You got to use the scale that they made of well, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's that's hard as fuck. My favorite Jada Kiss bar. If you know me, he said, you know, Kiss, I ain't never been the one in the front. I'll be in L.A. wearing any color I want. That's what <laughs> oh Jada Kiss bars and Come shit. On, man. But he, uh, T.I., I don't know how the fuck we got here. T.I. Yeah. recently challenged 50 Cent to a versus battle. Hey. Yeah, that's how they got the uh, going into it. They said, you know, you take any opportunity to uh, start trolling. Um, first off, before I delve into what 50, his response was, do y'all think that that's a fair battle? Like it's accurate as far as the competitiveness of the battle? Hit yeah. for hit. No. Uh, Who you lean towards? Uh, it's, 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 just, it's, just, it's just, it's just, it's just, a, damn here, it's close. I don't, it's close, but I don't, it just depends on what you want. Uh, we 50, just going his for 50, 50 had the, his, I mean, his career 
Um, all I can look at his career because I can't go hit for hit. I guess a lot, fifty a lot of fifty hits was earlier in his career is what I'm trying to say. I feel like yeah, I and feel then like it was a downhill down. thing yeah. after that versus Ti where it was like a progressive kind of ramp up. Bit. Yeah, it, it just kind of was progressive build up to the best one of his I best albums, and then I money. he so felt it went down a little bit maybe depending on who you ask, depending on what you like. If you like original Ti, then some of that might have. He might have did a little bit more commercial, but I, I don't. Paper trail. Yeah, I can't say. I can't say hit for hit though. Uh, Fifty Cent is a mo more of a mogul type, I think. When you go, he built other motherfuckers like G Unit. That was a good. Y'all got a classic album. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think, so. I think I'm biased because I. Kinda, which one, Tr? Got the cool. which is classic? Trail, yeah, trail I'm music. That's the trap music. I feel like that's a classic. Trap music and uh, it's definitely one. Trap music. I don't know about paper trip. Maybe paper either paper trip or king. Is that king with that? Uh, yeah, king was tight. Uh, it's hard for me too because I'm. A, it was. You got urban legend. Yeah, that's all. Like you know it's what too mean? many. So it's just what you like. On that trap music, he got uh. That be easy. Be easy. Bring them out there. Bring them out. Bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bell rolls in your mouth. Hey, let's get away. Come on. These easy was just his. That be easy. Rubber band man was the. Let's get away. That twenty fours. Rubber band man. That shit was hard. It's crazy. Trap music. Crazy man. That shit was hard. But then you got the good Richard. Good Richard. Good Richard. Trying better than all the other shit combined. Man, I ain't get it. You damn near right, man. Almost. I only say I only Especially I, I, as a I, 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 I only, I only, I only Well not that's what I'm that saying, man. Yeah, like just as of like coming out, like that project was fucking crazy. That's man. what I'm saying. Like that his shit was popped crazy, hard. Man. Yeah, like that like, one yeah. project was just hard. stupid. Then the next one was like yeah, it's like, all right, this and next and project. And all right. This I mean, where, I this where the soundtrack. This where this where everybody fucking lose. Soundtrack. Because that fucking the the fucking massacre was fucking retarded. I mean, that mask, it had that mm -hmm. fucking nah, uh, in my hood. It had I'm supposed to die tonight. Position that of piggy power. bank. Piggy that that, that, shit that candy, that candy shop. Candy that shop. get that bitch get in. That uh, Baltimore love thing. That rider music. Like, that that just right a little there. bit. You go through that yeah, whole so. fucking shit. That position of power. I don't need them. Yeah, and that was on Hey, I was like, what, what, what else was, was the singles on that? Candy Shop and that shit. That shit. That's what people remember. Versus the, the singles that he. Uh, Wait a minute, what about that just a little bit? Just a little bit? Oh my gosh, bro. Bit. Come yeah, on, man. Bro, that shit was retarded. That shit. And that bitch get in and get my car. That shit was retarded. And I say all that to say this that it's not a wash. I'll lean nah, towards fifty. It's close. I'll I, lean I towards think fifty. I got, got. I think he got harder, solid. Well, like the whole projects. Ti kind of got like even, spread even, out through. Like, even then, he gave you a half of an album. Out. Even yeah. then, though, nigga, I still gotta say because people think it's just a wash fifties one. Ti got some fucking. Classics, That's bro. why I'm like, look, yeah, it's like what you want. You want a hell of good half album, half of good albums, or when they do you the want verses, two when they, when they do strong albums? When they do the verses, they go song for song, though. T.I. So definitely can run that race. Yeah, yeah. T.I. So definitely can run that race. Me and Corey was talking about this earlier. Uh, Corey leaned towards 50 in the conversation I did too. But I don't, about, know if, I don't know if it's because I like 50 I was about to say, it's all about preference. At I think I like 50 Cent, so I think that's why. But if I got to sit down and be honest and go song for song, it's some shit. It's some shit going on both ways. And uh, yeah, that, that, so if you're talking to competitiveness in that way, it's very competitive, but... As far as strong go, there's no there's no competition. Yeah. Fifty Cent uh, got <laughs> yeah, to talk not. about Ti. Um, he, he brought up the fact that Ti was on the uh, Crime Stoppers commercial. He don't even just talk about yeah. rappers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so he talk about more than rappers. Yeah, he talk about like, anybody. Producers. Is, I'm talking about movie producers. Just, anybody. Shit. I just want to like you can't be for him. Like you can, but you gotta like, ignore that nigga. You know what I mean? Like I think I just ignore that like nigga. You know what I mean? He gonna be you know. You seen this nigga respond to me? You see, you live, you outlive your truth. Ti, Ti, he he's a fantastic rapper. He's even better talker. But when it be coming to confrontation, he be getting played. First off, uh, Floyd made a lot of dickhead. Mm -hmm. 
Floyd, you like want Floyd on your bitch. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. like you really don't think you want to fight Floyd? Yeah. Like, come on. Man. So in this instance, Fifty Cent, he get the making the jokes about the um, crime stoppers deal he made around 2008. I don't think this is on the heels of the gun case he's catching. Mm-hmm. Um, first off, man, that's that's the easy thing to do. Cause my snitch, whatever. Uh, it was very confusing how he got such less time involved with those pistols being a convicted felon. And he was called Deadwood. You know, I was able to tell him he got caught. Um, he did, they say, I, I haven't seen I need to pull up see if I can find him. But he, did, he did the crime side of the video. He said, you know somebody commit a crime, go blah, blah, blah. Guns and ain't this, cool, y'all. Yeah. Hey, put him out. Cut it out. <laughs> hey, put him on like they used to. <laughs> but but this is the thing though, we all we all bounce up to a certain point and you gotta ask yourself, is it was T I wrong for what he did for crime style commercial? Say he's face of twenty. He said, is he wrong? Yeah. yeah. No, he, said, he, he said he said he said he's wrong for snitching and he snitched that. Uh, <laughs> he's terribly wrong. If that's the case. Yes, he did if everything that's the to case. get that time taken off, not down, you know, maybe thing to make him look good to the judge when he gotta go talk to that yeah, motherfucker. I ain't gonna hang on it. He said, he said that this was this was. He said if anybody told because of that fucking uh, commercial, they're gonna tell anyway. And I'm with him. I'm with him, nigga. I didn't, I didn't change my mind, nigga. That's uh, I definitely would have been on that Crime Stoppers commercial, employing for somebody to go snitch. No specifics, no pointing yeah, the no bodies specific, out. But no, yeah, like, Fifty Cent, what's on? He know what he know what is doing when that kind of thing happened. Um, T.I. response says that anybody, any nigga think I'm a rat knock my nose off when you see me nigga nigga shoot me in the head if you think I'm a motherfucking rat T.I. is 40 years old and he's out here talking like a fucking belligerent child I know man that like, is a terrible way to respond come on, dog. Yeah. to some shit like that cause I mean, I mean he's I mean it's it's 12 years old if he, this was the day of or day after even the year after I could understand it more so but this vitriol, it's, it's anger. Like, come yeah. on, man. Then you, you post a like. I don't think real niggas talk like that. You post a like. No, like you know, that girl situation. Send you, some girl send you a long ass paragraph. You supposed to just take the shit that you want out that motherfucker response. You don't respond to everything. You know what I mean? Like, this nigga responding yeah. to everything. Like, and it's, and it's, and it's, it's like, it's like he, response, he, he, like, he, he act like a nigga who got yeah. cancer. Yeah. Like, brain cancer. And they just start acting, you know what I'm saying? They say motherfuckers be acting like crazy. You know how shit. big your city is, man? Like, well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Shoot me in the fucking head. You think I'm a rat? Nigga. Don't nobody oh, make right. a video or something yeah, or shit you. like that. It's that weird, weird, man. Like, now you, you really look like the police. Yeah, yeah. man. You been yeah. extra. We just like, playing at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just like, playing at first. We just chilling, but now it's like, you got something to tell us? But that that definitely is. Uh, not nobody from his era, anyway, I'm going to say. You said what then? said, not nobody from his era making a video saying, come kill me. I'm gonna kill you, whatever you want to say. He's gonna go see you. MC Hammer would have went to go see you. <laughs> Come on, man. For real? Yeah, yeah. For real? Hey, hold on, hold on, because he's he's de- he's definitely on some shit. Motherfucker said Hammer was on thug shit. Man. Everybody. Hammer. Everybody. Hammer used to pull up on niggas. Everybody he used to pull up on niggas. Uh, they pulled up on him. He, red man. Red man, yeah. MC search. Hey, so search scared. <laughs> he almost got yeah. shot up. Cause them niggas thought the hammer was out there, motherfucker. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> Shout out to Jason for bringing this on attention. So I know that you would love this. So we don't say be fucking super salacious and media take outish today. <laughs> Bring some fucking civilness into the building. Man, what's that shit talking Apparently, about? Apparently, uh, the Eagles wide receiver, Deshaun Jackson, uh, had posted some shit on Instagram, some anti-Semitic uh, comment, and I was unable to find out what the post was and comment because it was all deleted since then. But apparently, he posted something and he came under some outrage. You know, he came under fire. Let me interject real quick. Go ahead. Just to just to give context to what the uh, post was, it was it's a uh, <laughs> it's a post it. going around that's where it talks about a quote that Hitler people would say allegedly made. 
but it's a quote that Hitler made where it was concerning the Jews. Mm-hmm. He said that America stole, uh, in his word, God's Jews. Yeah. And they was like, what do you mean? Ah, yeah, and that's why I thought I heard part of it. So he's saying that, don't you know that African Americans are the chosen people of the most high? Well, God, he said, chosen people of God. And he said, American God, he just let them come under judgment. So there's a lot of people who try to refute, refute this because, for one, they don't want it to be known who we are. And for two, they have to push this narrative that those Ashkenazi imposters were victims of a Holocaust. They, they have to they keep have to, yeah. you can't You can't push nobody towards Hitler's way to make Hitler seem like a righteous person. Yeah. Uh, you have to always keep him as a villain in any narrative that you push. But Deshaun Jackson posted this, and he was considered it's anti-Semitic. But go ahead, I want to talk about that. No, I'm glad that you said that because I was like, what is this? But yeah. no, that was really the thing. So he, uh, that's what he posted, it, and then uh, now apparently uh, a, a survivor, a Holocaust survivor, a 94 year old dude named Edward Mossberg. Hits him up on a Zoom call and uh, invites him to visit Auschwitz, the, the the Jewish concentration camp. So many questions, right? <laughs> so many questions. He and he accepts it. He accepts it. He accepts the invitation, but they don't know exactly when uh, he plans to go uh, because of the COVID restrictions. <laughs> That's hilarious. He like I come when they lit up. So is he like under fire for that shit? Like motherfuckers on his was on his. Yeah, he been about? apologizing since the the, the post. Is, it's, it's and disgusting. And so now it's he disgusting. feels so compared. They they trying to hose his ass. Like they really oh trying my to gosh, like. Bro, stick to your gun. Yeah. Man. So so he like man, ain't no other way but going to fucking the Jewish concentration camp since this nigga tried to call me out. That's what I hate about niggas. All these niggas who jump down on. Them. Like, oh, he, he should apologize. Jamil Hill, the fucking liberal whore, Oh, she did? Said that even black people can be cautiously ignorant. This, this is recent? Is, yeah, this bitch is a puppy. Oh, God. Jamil Hill is very disgusting. It's she's just, damn. She's useless. She's fucking useless. Cautiously she's a fucking That's why they threw her to the side. Slut bear. Um, he, he's a bitch, though. And I understand, oh, and he I praised, understand why he's a bitch. I'm sorry. And he didn't say that he praised Louis Farrakhan in his post, too. So that's the other part that will get them motherfuckers real riled up. Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> that's what say, they said. You just oh, said man. what the post was. Louis Farrakhan is a fucking puppet. Yeah, that Louis ain't got Farrakhan, the- Louis Farrakhan part of the game, too. What I don't like is how niggas so... I mean, this, this is what it is when you choose to work in corporate America. He's a corporate American whore. He has to bend over and do what the fuck they say if he wants to keep his position in this Babylonian system. Mm-hmm. That's the fucked up thing about it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you gotta play a game when you're in the game. Yep. Uh, a key point is how LeBron reacted with the Daryl Morey and China shit. I don't yeah. know if y'all familiar with this yep. shit, but. Yep. This all ties, Deshaun Jackson response and the reaction. You, Deshaun Jackson about what, 32, 31, 30, he's early mm-hmm. 30. Fuck you gonna be with a ninety four? How did a fucking ninety four year old Work white zone. person hit you on zone? How? So how? I mean, for, for one, it's part of the script. Um, I don't know how part of it the song Jackson is, but it goes like the globalism. This, this, this is this is on the heels of the so called Black Lives Matter. Remember how everybody was just scared of us a month ago? Yeah, Three let me ago? and let me read his response. Too. Go ahead, go ahead. His response that he posted on after he talked to the old man on there. He said. Today I had the opportunity to speak with 94-year-old Holocaust survivor, Mr. Edward Mossberg. Thank you, Mr. Mossberg, for your valuable time and insight today. I'm taking this time to continue with educating myself and bridging the gap between different cultures, communities, and religions. Love to all. To be continued. I was like, nigga, that was just a, oh, okay, you ain't gonna see it my way. Uh, thank you for your educational information, sir. <laughs> That's how you gotta hit dummies when they don't want to hear the truth. Be like, well, fine, thank you. This is the time. part that fucking bothered me right here. That shit is terrible. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you because I didn't see this shit. I really this part right here fucks with me. Mm-hmm. This is from ESPN. The post was dangerously uninformed. They were de- they demonstrated not only a lack of understanding, but what it means to be anti-Semitic, but also a severe level of naivety 
about dark areas of the internet from which he and other social media users sometimes draw their content. Mm. So these people are the real it. one. These people are the ones who are seemingly deciding what is truth and what's not. Yeah. In an attempt to amplify what he interpreted of the example of black subjugation, he later suggests he was which he later suggests he was trying to do. Jackson instead elevated a fabricated quote attributed to Adolf Hitler and thus promoted a group that was connected to a deadly shooting rampage in a kosher market last year in New Jersey. In Jersey City, New Jersey. So I, I'm gonna screenshot this and I gotta make a post about this because this is gonna go over a lot of motherfuckers' head. Um sure. the, the group that they talking about, they're referring to, is a group that like the candidly referred to as the black people Israelites. Uh and it, it's camp shit. It's like a long fuck with them camp niggas because the y'all the niggas they used to castigate. Exactly. Um in Jersey City it was a alleged deadly shooting where a black man and a black woman was sought out or I don't know if this is the same one, but it was somebody who black who supposedly shot a so called Jew. And they said that this person frequented black Hebrew Israelite congregation. Oh That's a narrative. So this is what listen, it said they elevated a fabricated quote and thus promoted a group that was connected. A group these were individuals. Even though I talk crazy about the camps, the camps was not complicit with this. But see, this is how they spin this shit. They they use the Hitler quotes, what they say was fabricated, and they have no way of proving that. What they do, they go to Snopes. No, no way at all. A fucking Jewish control website called Snopes. Um, ESPN is run by Jewish people. The person who was seemingly so-called fake upset was Max Kellerman, another fake Jew. A liberal motherfucker. He's so fucking liberal. They invited some goofy so nigga to move in their head. Yeah. So called, they let this nigga move in their house and beat his brother's head to death with a hammer. Max. You never heard about that? Max. No. It was a boxer. It was a boxer. What? A fucking boxer. I'm not gonna read up on that. I'm not gonna read up But they had, they had adopted something. <laughs> you know, white folks do that white guilt. Yeah. Unless you let it come sleep on your couch for fucking 30 months. Right. And he beat his brother's head. But Damn. that ain't number white guilt. And, and so in, in addition to that, uh, this, how they tie the Hitler quote in with um, the Hitler quote in with the shit that happened in Jersey. This is a subtle attack on Israelites. But you got what you got to do, you got to make us look insensitive and ignorant and shit. And, they, and the, being that the Sean Jackson control with money, you can easily scare the shit out of him. He gonna retract everything he say to you like Thank you for your time, sir. It's worth it. It's incredible. I need these people, and that's what happened when you were whore for the system. Um, they control you because it's like they take this. Yeah, yeah, they they this. Scared. Said, man, I take it. We saw it's crazy. I, I got to ask you again off the air about this quote because I, I just thought about some crazy shit in conjunction with. This. Have you ever read a quote? No, I I, I'm gonna shoot it to you. Yeah, shoot it to me. Bro. But um. But that's that yeah, that is unfortunate. They are definitely trying to control the narrative and uh Yeah. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Cause that's the type of shit that make you be like, wait, so why didn't Hitler kill nobody else? Did he already did he know that we was Hebrew Israelites and we was the chosen ones and he shouldn't be doing it? Just just the uh, um <laughs> I ain't just, trying to no, get no, just to go into that just a little bit deeper. What people don't understand is what was going on over there is it had nothing to do with us but what yeah. they do they they draw us in emotionally they program like that's why i always say that the term brainwash is something that we should adhere to we all need our brains washed yeah. we've all been programmed yeah. on some bullshit, so we need to be brainwashed to rid ourselves of the program that we under yep. we yep. if you I, I always bring up the fact that you gotta be like a baby again on everything you gotta be willing to re, be retaught it's like if you fall, you lose your fucking walking ability, you learn to rewalk. Yeah. Um what the fuck I was gonna say. You talking about the call of Hitler? Uh, all what they do is all the, the what they do is paint that image. Alright, someone else say something. You was like you memory said, shit. You said what they do, they try to spin they try to spin a narrative, that's what you about to say. Uh, I'm over here drunk. Okay, they. Yeah. I'll be getting these little custom t shirts off a website called Zazzle. So I just want to see how far I can go. I designed a, um, a shirt that had Hitler on it. I'm not a fan of Hitler. Hitler had politics that I don't adhere to, but Hitler was in Germany. Yeah. 
Hitler wasn't over here in America and shit, flaying niggas, tying them up, beating shit out of them, doing none of that shit. He wasn't raping niggas. He wasn't feeding babies to alligators. He wasn't doing none of that stuff over here. The shit he had going over there, no concern of my own. Um, For sure. What they do is they, they paint the picture of Hitler over here like he's some crazy. I tried to get a shirt with his ass with a picture of Hitler on there. They started making it. They said, we can't make this because it's offensive. I said, offensive to who? I said, I look on your website, you got slave rapers like Thomas Jefferson on here. You got slave owners like George Washington. That shit crazy. You see what's wrong with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, and that when somebody somebody recently, after you see this on the internet, the shit that they ban on the internet is shit that's true. For sure. They ban that stuff about natural health uh, remedies and things like that. They ban you. You can't find flat earth shit on Google. If you search Google, it always take you to some kind of bullshit. If you go to YouTube, type in flat earth, uh, Hebrew Israelites, um, alternative health, it always give you a mainstream website that in turn debunks it. Debunks it, yeah. It, and, and, and it's all control, which we don't know. If you ever, I looked at Google, YouTube, the owners are Jewish people. So if I go into this anti-Semitism, or anti-Semitic, which it should be called. I posted on Instagram the other day what a, a, a Semitic person was. It's somebody dark skinned like us, but one we're Semitic. Yeah. We, we derive from Shem. Um, the Webster's definition is something to the fact that somebody Afro or Asiatic, it's never a European person. These people, Max Kellerman, Lair Cohen, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, Vlad from Vlad TV. These people are Russian immigrants. They are imposters. They all come from Russia. They they come from Ashkenaz, which was a descendant of Japheth. They are not Semitic. But that term is so prevalently attached to them that people just blindly believe that shit. Mm. These are the people who control every aspect of entertainment. Every aspect from sports to music to movies. And the biggest entertainment form, which is politics. They control everything. These are your world bankers, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, you know what I'm saying? These people. Um, when they control the narrative, they can tell you anything, people can believe everything. A website that they like to use is called Snopes. It's where they supposedly go ahead and fact check and then people hold them to some high esteem like they just do it all. And if Snopes says right, it's right. If Snopes says wrong, it's wrong. Yeah. It is goofy to me. Goofy um, I'm. Yeah, it's embarrassing what the Sean Jackson is. It's all these fake wokey woke ass niggas like Jamil Hill. She'll hop up here and talk that Trump shit. That bitch goes at Trump and shit like she can't be shot in the fucking face. But she's protected. But once you get talking about them people, it's worse than LGBT. Oh, it's way worse. They have, to, they have to fuck your money up. And if you, that's why you can't love this system or the way this system works though, because then you become controlled by it. Um, what I was saying is it go back to globalism. And this is it goes to show you how, how strong the media is. Because if you go, if you type, I just typed into Sean Jackson, he had no support. <laughs> he had no support. And it wasn't just, it's Malcolm Jenkins, his super woke ass want to kneel down with Colin. Mm -hmm. These people, these these athletes know how to pick their fights. They know who, who, who butters their brain. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. And it's crazy because they sell their souls and shit for this temporal shit, for this temporary shit. Yep. Well, what, what you find over there? Nah, that was, you read that shit? No, nah, I read the article, yeah. I mean, the, the, the quote, the quote, yeah. And they, and they definitely gonna say it's a falsely attributed, uh, attributed quote because it'll make people wonder. Like when they say it's fabricated, they don't say who fabricated. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they not mention the fact that you're talking about the Freemasons. You know what I'm saying? It's only mm -hmm. the particular group <coughs> that bothered him. Mm -hmm. But it, it's all it's all written and shit. And that's that's just how it go. It, it's just a shame that these athletes don't really stand on shit, but some fucking legal tender. Yep, that's about it. Now we're standing on shit, man. And then, and then, unfortunately, this is the children look up to. But that's why it's important as a man to make sure that you are your, your children's hero as much as you can be. Because at some point, your children gonna be looking at you like you some kind of bitch. They don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> yeah. and, and and they won't understand it until a little later. Um, 
Uh, did, we, did y'all see? Did y'all catch the uh, the post that a lot of people was posting about Haiti, about Haitian, no. about the Haitian, um, how they were slaves, and the 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 piece that I thought that was the most fascinating part about it because they had to they overthrew the French, uh, they overthrew the French, and then they had to repay the French government pretty much to not reinvade them and what? Uh, to so they could stay out of slavery, right? <laughs> So they had to repay all these French banks, right? And they had to pay back some American banks too, apparently. And one of those American banks was allegedly City Citibank. So that I was just like, what? That's an nigga now? Nigga, if you got Citibank, nigga, quit. Because okay. niggas is still niggas in Haiti. Well, they, I don't think they still. I don't think they are. No, they did have to pay that money. Back. Been paid. They paid that money back. Haiti so been nigga, for that rebellion. Yeah, they still. They they, they been they've been paying for that. Yeah, so yeah, Citibank was a part of that, and that's just funny that they're one of the biggest. They merged and absorbed a lot of fucking other banks, and they one of the biggest banking corporations now. So I'm just like, damn, it's right in your face, like it's right there, like the, the remnants of it. And y'all yeah. wanna deny this shit? Y'all did this to a whole country that clearly got receipts for paying for they they freedom. The, the, the Haitian <laughs> Revolution is a revolution that it, it went against. What the uh, first, first of all, Haiti's uh, the Haitians are part of the tribe of Israel. Mm-hmm. Uh, more than likely, the tribe of Judah, like us, because we were scattered to the four corners. These are former uh, so called Africans who end up slaves in Haiti. They rebelled and they kicked them motherfuckers' ass. Uh, I can't remember his name. It's Toussaint. I can't Toussaint. remember. Toussaint. Super, yeah. super uh, fantastic general. Yeah. But once they rebelled and they kicked their ass, they had to punish them. And that's why you see like the natural disasters. Haiti ain't getting they natural get disasters. Those are man-made disasters and stuff to keep those people subjugated. Um, they like to they like to act like Haitians just idiots who practice voodoo, mm-hmm. but they're very cultural and very intelligent and stuff. It's just that they they done got hit with the brunt of stuff that mm-hmm. it's crazy. Man. You, they been over getting fucked over. And why you mentioned that they part of the tribes, the original tribes? It's funny that because if. They said that from Haitian people's mouth, they said that we go over there, we treat it like citizens, like black people. Mm-hmm. You get full citizenship privileges. Not no non-black people. Black people, if you black from America, apparently we could just go there. We could just live there. We could beat it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you was you you treated as if you was born there. So I mean, I don't know how not not to say that they doing the you best. Knew what I was <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, no, 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 no,
If they want to take our garbage, nigga, I know our garbage is safe from French if they, France if they want to come back, all right? Of America. And usually, and usually we be like, yo, man, this is how they want you to look, nigga. That's Haiti. That's Haiti. I know it's a beautiful place in Africa, God. I can just imagine how beautiful the countryside is and shit. Yeah, the, these is fun facts. Knee length titties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how fucked up we think our people like barbarians. Just mm, like they ain't got mm, mm. niggas don't think they got brawls in Africa. They got us. Yeah, ain't that fucked up? They really did a number on us, nigga. <laughs> As we speak, it is a lion chasing a nigga. <laughs> ain't that fucked Somewhere. up? Somewhere. That's Somewhere. fucked up. But well, fuck that. Hey, <laughs> Real fast to the motherfucking Haitian Jack and all that shit. Oh, just be best to the last. But yeah, we're gonna wrap this up though. Another fantastic show, best podcast you never heard of. The conceited mo nobody. Um, anything I'm saying, closing? Man, shit, make sure y'all check out Conceited Nobody, new episode 136, streaming on all platforms tomorrow. And uh, <clears throat> fucking mixtape about to drop, man. We got all the names. Jason just sent me the last two. Having a little trouble with those. So for the third quarter, if any artists. I know y'all saw me watching the podcast. Make sure when y'all send them tapes, when y'all send them mixes, send the exact name, like letter, <laughs> all that shit. Y'all spell everything right, and then your name. Like no, some no, artists. No so say like, say like, say like, if I put Juvie, by Juvie, but on on Distro Kid, I put who it's written by. Like I put Javar Jones. Mm -hmm. So I have to, you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, if I give you a song exactly. and you put Juvie and you put written by Juvie, it's not gonna go. You see what I'm saying? Because so, you can't put no nicknames. Exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah, Shit. man. We, uh, we crunching up. They about to drop this motherfucker. This project crazy. Can't wait for motherfuckers to hear it. And, uh, man, shit. We got motherfucking car. We about to get back on the road, man. Fuck all yeah. that bullshit. You'll be back in the gym. I'm probably finna go do stand up in somebody's yard since the club. <laughs> hey, we there's need only to, you know, one uh, club that's gonna allow me to come. We need to do some shit. We need to do some shit. Come on with, we make some little some. short story skits or something. We, we you know what I mean, bro? Like, we can do something. You know what I mean? It ain't anything. You know? it's, it's funny. It ain't really nothing just to come up with a fucking script real quick. And just do a little dumb episode. I got plenty of them. Episode, you feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. So we about to get it rocking. Shout out to the motherfucking League Awards, they this weekend. Who about y'all fucking with? Is it this weekend? Is it Sunday? Is it uh is it viral? No, like me, is it is it virtual or is it like Oh no, hell no, it's there. It's it's down at the uh I don't know, Washington Mall, actually. Uh what is it? I forgot I forgot the actual place where what it's called, but it's it's over at the Washington Mall. I'm definitely getting that motherfucker. No, I got the real this weekend. What yeah. day what time is it? It's like six. Something. I think I think I'll be able to go. We probably get on out Saturday. Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to get out about four or five. I'm working. You working? Mm -hmm. You get off the ball. It's the show started red carpet at six. Uh, show started at seven. Better red carpet right. interviews. I'm, I'm definitely interview worthy. I definitely will be in the Uber today, today motherfucker. TCK. <laughs> uh, sh shout out to everybody who fuck with us. Uh, that's all I got. Much love, y'all. Another episode of the best podcast you've never heard of, TCK. The Conceited Nobody. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m.